inside quickly, and for goodness sake, close that door after you. Last time, somebody didn't. Something dreadful crept in and almost at the elk. Actually, it wasn't that dreadful. Uh, take your places. It's a fresh quest we're rejoining, and we'll join it now. Pickle. Fresh is about right, Master. Hardly begun would be nearer the mark. This quest, Master, is for the sword. And the challenge hails from St. Albans. The dungeoneer is Alan. His advisors hereabouts are Jim and Nick and Mark. They've no clues or spells at this point, Master. However, four minutes down the path and things may be about to change. Well, let's change them then. Game on! You don't throw it, you can see, yeah. Use a spyglass, but be ready to put it down when it gets dangerous. Yeah. Hold it in front of the eye shield. Yeah, Because yeah, there could be the enemy on the other side. Yeah. No, no hands, I said a hero, not an ear hole. Watch my mouth, hands. I want you to impersonate a hero and gain their confidence. Oh, sorry, long word. Try trust. Offer to be their friend and companion, and remember to choose a hero they've found to have heard of, but couldn't possibly have met. Now clear the pool, please. As it is, I'll probably have to change the water now you've been through it. Ah, who have we here? If it isn't Julius Scaramanga. What can I do for you, good merchant? Well, it's like this, your lordship. I had afraid of a bit of competition. <laughs> Far from it. But this Ethan Oriental, well, he's getting right up my, uh, uh, well, he's encroaching on my established trading territory, so to speak. Uh, while we're on the subject of market forces, if you could be so kind as to bring a little bit of brute force to bear in the marketplace, so to speak, well, uh, I might feel obliged in return to release to you, uh, for a price, of course, that uh, special, uh, very very, very, very a special uh, shipment of goblin clubs that came in last week. <laughs> what do you say, eh? Hmm. A not uninteresting proposal. This commercial opponent of yours, Oriental, a Chinaman, is he? Well, it's hard to tell your lordship, but uh, somewhat like that, eh? Uh... Hmm. It just so happens I've come into possession of a neat little offensive spell that should be most appropriate under the circumstances. It's called Samurai. Very well. We have a deal. Go and get the clubs ready. A useful piece of eavesdropping, I suspect. But only if you've been paying attention. Well, equip yourselves. Take... Remember, you may take only two of these valuable objects. Take the gold. Take the gold, Alan. Yeah, because the they want the money, don't they? Yeah, could be useful yep. to bribe. Right. Yeah, right then. Um, turn to 12 o'clock. <gasps> Quick, Alan. Quick, Alan. Alan, 12 o'clock. Walk forward, walk forward. Quickly. Walk forward. Run. Quickly. Quickly. Stop. Right, turn to 12 o'clock again. Uh, side step to your right. Walk forward. Quick. We're on the eye out sheet now. Eye I walk shield. now. Now we're go going down some stairs. Walk down steps. some stairs. You're going down some stairs. One B. Duck. Don't hit your head again. Okay, you're in a courtyard. There's a green head of stop. You're in, you're in a courtyard. You've got um, buildings um, to your right at the moment and one behind you. Turn, 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 turn it around. Um, turn rounds. About 45 degrees, 90, to your right. Oh, look! It's a fellow Someone's warrior. Oh, greetings, greetings. <gasps> What's right. your name then, eh? Alan. Alan. Oh, Alan. Is you, is you an heroic figure then, Alan, is ya? Uh, no, it depends. Uh, depends. <laughs> Alan, Alan the amazing acrobatic argonaut. I remember you. You're famous. Is that you? Uh, say no. no. Sorry, no. no. Uh, uh, Alan. Hammerhead. Oh, oh, pleasure to meet you. That's you, isn't it? Alan no. Hammerhead. No? No. Oh, so you're not an heroic figure. No, no. Oh, no. well, I am. I am Coonan. Yeah, Coonan. Don't say this is hands. Oh, yeah. Now, watch this. Birdie, me, me, me beastly resistance thing, yeah. they call it. Ah, oh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, He's got a sword, oh, Alan. Oh, that's good. He's impersonating yeah. a hero who's oh. actually a baddie, we think. He was, he was hands when he was talking to the, um, mm. one to the spyglass. Here. Ah, oh, it's a bit too bird of me. 
Coonan. Yeah, do you know why they call me that? They call me it because they call me Coonan the Vegetarian. Yeah, that's because I like carrots. Mm. They make you ever so brave, you know, and they're good for your teeth too. Here, Alan, mm. would you like a bit of my carrot? Do you reckon? Uh, no. no. No, thank you very much. Ah, oh, there's a nice beetle there. You could have eaten that. Oh, well, look, okay. how about we, right, you and me, meeting up later at the inn in the square. It's, it's right over there. And we'll get drunk. Okay. I, I mean, no. have a few hours together. What do you say? Say no. No. Say sorry. No, you can't. Sorry, say you I can't, can't make it. I've got to go and see for somebody. You can't make it. You've no. got to find a saw, didn't you? Oh, well, I'm going to be there anyway. So if you're there, yeah, I'll get the there. drinks in. All right? Uh, yeah. Right. Would they say two hello? Yeah, I'm off. Yeah. All right. Okay, he's, he's walked off now, Alan. Yeah. Right, Alan, walk forward until we say stop. So there's no danger. Stop. Turn 90 degrees to your right. Yeah. Mm. Alan, 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 turn. turn 90 degrees to your right. Walk forward quickly. Forward. Keep going. Okay. Okay, Alan, you're walking down, down you're an alleyway. Down the uh, alleyway, yeah. It's, it's a cobbled street. You've got um, buildings either side. OK, yeah. Alan, stop. You're, you're in a, uh, a room. Yeah, uh, to your right, there is a stall with two ladies and a Chinaman. Uh, th th it's clear you're not going to fall oh, off anything. Hello. Hello, hello. 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 Welcome to a glorious a mobile emporium of humble servant. Ah, uh, walk. Mm. <laughs> Everything uh, we got, you need. Everything uh, you need, we got. <laughs> you got a name? Yeah, Alan. Oh, hello, Aaron. You call after jumper then. I like Aaron. Jumpers are quite nice. <laughs> well, I tell you what we got today, Aaron. We got a special offer. Every one thing on store, only for one gold bar. It's very good money, that, I think. I see Alan, you have have gold bar. Can you look at the things on the, the table? Oh, you have a little look there. Assassin come for humble servants. Oh, ma, wah. Uh, we have to say goodbye you to can dispel on the spell. You can dispel it. Can dispel it. I know how to dispel it. What? I know how to get rid of it. Well, don't stand there talking. Take rid of it, for God's sake. Dispel. Dispel. I A R U M A S. <laughs> Oh, absolutely amazing. You take your time, but you are a great magician. That's <laughs> incredible. I tell you what, because you've been so helpful to me, oh, I give you a special offer. I will drop the place. Everything on store, and you'll get silver bar if you give me gold bar, and I also give you plus word. Yeah. Yeah. That okay, Alan. Yes. Oh, you look like deal. that deal. Yeah, <laughs> I've got like that. a good deal. That has it's a on the good table. deal. Now then, you take silver, I take gold, but I give you plus one. Plus one is elephant. You got it? Elephant. elephant. Yeah. That's, that's uh, remarkable. Right, I'm asking to you. I point you the way you got to go. Elephant. Turn around. Elephant, and off you go. Good luck. Stop. Stop, Alan. OK, you're in a room, you've got, um, in more of a bar, actually. Uh, they're, they're drinking. There's tables to the left and right of you. You're not going to fall off any of their cliff or anything, don't worry, you're in a room. Yeah. There's hands. Alan, Just about to talk to you. Alan, more beer when you've got a minute. Alan, come over here. Oh, I'll Same be guy. waiting for you. Sit down there. Oh, you must be tired. Uh. Oh, yeah, I'm exhausted. You're sitting on me cloak, that's it. Right. <laughs> oh, now, more beer! Listen, I did order you one, I promise. But it was getting cold, so I drank it. And then I, I ordered you a second one, but I, I think I've drunk that too. I think you've just drunk, Harry. Yeah. We can hold our beer, can't we? Mm. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I offer you the post of four continents, the supreme entertainment at three royal courts. Ladies and gentlemen, I offer you myself. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. Here, yeah. <laughs> push off, Daddy Longlegs. Me and my heroic chum, Alan, is trying to have a quiet drink together. Yeah. Hey, 
Who do you think you are calling Ridolfo then that way, eh? Alan, do me a favor. Tell him who I is. Go on. Go on, tell him. His hand's the invincible. I No! Tell him my real name. Oh, um... Hold on. Kunan the vegetarian. Kunan the vegetarian. Yeah. Kunan the, the what? The vegetarian. Kunan the vegetarian. Oh, right. So, you this Kunan the vegetarian. I meet this Kunan one time, yeah. Huh. I remember. He much bigger than you. He for certain a much cleaner. Hey, tell you what. If you are this Kunan the vegetarian, then you not to be scared of this ooh, sword, ooh, eh? Ooh, eh? I feel eh? I feel so awful. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, I'm gonna go. Oh. Hands has run off, Alan. Vegetarian. <laughs> Alan, eh? Yeah. At least you're not pretending to be someone you're not, eh? No. So, Alan, what do you want to know? A song, a rumor? A piece of gossip from the Doja's court in Adenis. Aye. No. Listen, team, if this wandering troubadour is true to his kind, then he's a strolling yeah. fount of information. And, of course, information is power. Alan, yeah. see if you can get any information out of him. Uh, like what? Ask him about the gossip. About Ask him about the gossip. The gossip. the gossip. Well, if you can give me some useful information, I've got something that I might be able to give to you. I might be able to give you some useful information, so, um... What are you going to give me, then? Show him the silver, Alan. No, the parchment. The same, parchment. same we've got a musical scroll here. Yeah, we've got a musical scroll here. Yeah. A musical scroll? A musical scroll. Ah, see, I love the music. The ladies do as well, too. OK, yeah. you give me this scroll and then I help you, OK? Information first, I think. Ah, no, 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 no. It's so a please. speech you scratch, a teeth of a tata. You scratch your nose and I scratch yours, OK? All right, then. <laughs> ah, wonderful. OK, now, you have to cross a magic causeway. I give you the magic number, OK? It's a eight, a three, a nine, a five, a one. That's a eight, a three, a nine, a five, a one, OK? But you've got to be quick, or <laughs> away to go. I got a people to entertain. Ciao. Ah, bella, bella, bella. He's um, leaving now, Alan. You got that number? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Right. <laughs> onward, team, onward. Alan, stand up. I think there's a stairwell at the back, isn't there? Yeah. Right, Alan, take a step backwards. Turn about 90 degrees to your right. And walk forward. Walk forward. OK, we're on the ice shield now, Alan. You're walking down a set of stairs. Go uh, then. Going down the stairwell. Oh, stop, Alan. You're in a, um, a room. Uh, which is all stone. There's a pineapple, I think, or something, in, in front of you. A couple of paces in front of you. There's a. Uh, can you see it on the floor? Oh yeah, I can see it now. Yeah. What is actually is it? It is a pineapple. Yeah, in the attic. Yeah, There's, There's a, a wall. wall come out in front of you. Yeah. It's just appeared in front of you. Um, it's a face, face in it. Now. it. Password. Say elephant. Elephant. Okay. It's this is it. Right, right, walk forward two paces. Right, turn 90 degrees to your left. Right, walk forward. OK, Alan, stop. Um, you're in a room, yeah, uh, with hexagons laying the path of the floor, so you could fall off the edge to watch where you're treading, right? Mm. There's um, numbers across yeah. them, as we There's thought there might on be. The, on the hexagons. Yeah. So, we, uh, so we'll have we to follow the, the code we've given. Take a pace forward. Forward, please. That's it. Right, you turn. Turns like two o'clock. You're at twelve at the moment. That's it. Walk forward. And again, stop. Now, um, okay, the path but, um, behind you is just fallen. Take a half step forward, please. A uh, half step side um, sideways to your left. Yes. Okay. That's it. Okay. That's it, OK. Walk well, forward. Walk forward one pace. And another. Very small, though. That's it. That, that was OK uh, originally. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Great. Right, now you can turn 90 degrees, please, from where you are. See you left. That's perfect. That's so great. And nine. forward a step. Walk forward a step. And side take step. a side half step. side step to your right. Now walk forward a pace. Whoa, whoa, Alan. Stop, go. Okay. Take a half side step to your right. 
right, now take the pace forwards. All right. Yeah, yeah just about. Yeah. <laughs> take another half side step to your right. Forward and take a half step forward. Turn 90 degrees, please. To your to right. right. Forward a step. Forward half step. <laughs> now turn a very little bit to your right. That's it. Take a step forward. Take a half side step to your left. Yeah, that's okay. And forward a step. Forward step. Forward a step. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Now turn 90 degrees to your left. Take a step forward. Okay. Keep walking forward. Walking forward, you're going out. Step forward. You're in a, you're in a stop. You're in a, uh, a cabin. There's a. Uh, there's a big... Uh, it's all empty. You're not going to fall off anything, so don't worry, you're out of the cave. Uh, there's a big door at the end, but it's, like, blocked off at the moment. OK, but it's, it's open, and there's a dragon in front. It's Smirkinov, team, and that means a trip to level two. Yeah, uh, we're going to guide you onto the back of the uh, dragon. Um, walk forward till we say stop. Stop. Okay. Stop, Alan. You're on the dragon's back now, OK? Yeah. OK, so don't, like, go to the side. You'll probably fall off him. Oh, no. I'll walk forward. Carry on. Um, stop. stop. Can you see a seat in front of you? Yeah. Um, climb into the Sit seat. Sit on it, please. If you can. Be careful. <sighs> OK, you're sitting on the um, dragon's neck. The dragon's neck. turning round to you. Mmm, the cheek of it. So like a human. I suppose one should come to expect that sort of thing. Very well. If you have the fare, then hold on tight. If Alan. you haven't, get off now while you can. And do get a move on. That's the dragon speaking to you, Alan. Alan, yeah. quickly offer him the silver. Uh, do you want the silver? Silver, eh? Cheap skit. We'll put it in the pouch provided. OK, you're flying over sea now, Alan. You're rather heavy for a human. Oh, thank you. You seem to be approaching a, a, a castle on the hill now. Yeah, you're going over some land. Now, you all probably love this place, but I positively loathe it. You're uh, coming into land now, Alan, in a courtyard of a, like a ruined castle. There we are. Off you go, and uh, kindly disembark by the same route you embarked. OK. Stand up and turn around, Alan. <clears throat> Can you follow Sit. down the back of the dragon spines there? Yeah. Well, well done. Alan, you're in the uh, dwarf tunnels again, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Right. There is a skeleton in front of you, so I think we better make haste out of here. Keep walking forward. Can you see anything on the floor in front of oh, you? Oh, hang on, mate. There's some food here. Yeah, pick the food up. Stack. What I want to know, Master. You said dwarves made these tunnels. Why did they make them so big? Ah, oh, well, the answer to that big was they didn't make them for themselves. Right, turn 90 degrees to your left. Straight on. Yeah, straight on. No, stop, Alan. Stop. Mm. OK, you're, you're in a room, yeah? You ain't going to fall off anything. Um, there's a lady to your <laughs> left. Um, there's a chair in front of you also. She's crying, it seems. You can't see me like this. Who are you, anyway? I'm Alan. Oh, Alan. Well, if you're a dungeoneer, you've got the special helmet on and you can't see me anyway. Which is just as well, because I'm really ugly. I'm so ugly, my cat's run off. That doesn't signify much, because it's a Cheshire cat and I can't usually see it anyway. Here, puss, 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 puss. Here, puss, puss, puss. Oh! Sorry, Bethsemane. Oh, you were there all the time. Oh, poor... Poor puss. Mm -hmm. I'm Sidrus. Hello. 
I know. And until quite recently, well, I was quite good looking. <laughs> Trouble is, I got to wondering what it would be like to be very good looking. Then I thought I'd try just a, a teensy weensy bit of cosmetic magic. I should have known it would have gone wrong. I don't have much luck with magic, which is a nuisance because I'm supposed to be a sorceress. Is my father wants me to be one? <laughs> He's Hordras the Confuser, by the way. Certainly confuses me, I can tell you. Mm. Oh, call me if you come across anything that will make things bearable. Mm. A good face mask would even do. Oh, you do know how to summon people, don't call, you? Call their name three times. Oh. What's your name, please? Um, Sidrus. Sidrus. Yes. Okay. That'll right. work. Okay. Probably. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, puss, puss, puss. No. Okay, oh. Alan, walk forwards. Now. Okay, we're on the eye shield now, Alan. We're walking through the uh, the room. We're going out another back door. Time out. We'll just have to trust that Alan is safe on this path until the next phase. I wonder if Sidris will get her complexion back. And if a fresh complexion can change the face of fate. I wonder, but why wonder if you can learn the truth? And you can learn it if you remember that play fair or fear play foul. We begin again at the allotted hour. <laughs> 